Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, nah, man. What the fuck, man? You just get your ass on, man. Second only to the invisible shark in the deep end of the pool, an inland bull shark is a summer vacationer's worst nightmare. Upon reports of shark encounters in rivers and lakes, you may have wondered, how can a saltwater fish survive in a freshwater environment? Here's a brief explanation. Urohelene organisms are aquatic flora and fauna which utilize the amazing ability of adapting to varying levels of water salinity. Many of our urohelene friends possess this power as it is essential to their life cycle. Salmon are born in freshwater streams, make a seaward journey spending one to seven years gallivanting in the beautiful open ocean until their miraculous and exhausting return to the site of their own birth, where they mate, back with another milk, help! Help! spawn, and then become genuine, literal, legit zombies, and then die. But how exactly does this mechanism work? Osmoregulation is the active process present in all organisms of maintaining the water and salt balance throughout the body's membrane. Your kidneys are doing this as we speak, hopefully. Examples of osmoregulation are the excretion of excess water via PP in humans, the transport of salt through the gills to maintain electrolytes in fish, and external lipids on a frog skin to prevent excess water loss. The goal is to prevent an organism's fluids from being too diluted or too concentrated. What we want is osmotic balance. In action, freshwater fish use their gills to uptake the salt from their environment, diffuse it within their bodies, and then excrete the excess water with a very diluted urine. A saltwater fish whose osmotic concentration is much lower than its seawater environment tends to lose water and gain salt, so it must actively excrete excess salt through its gills. The majority of fish are stenohaline, meaning they cannot maintain homeostasis in waters of salinity content that they are not adapted to, thus restricting them to either salt water or fresh water. So, how can urohaline fish survive both in fresh and salt water? Besides bull sharks, we have the short-finned molly, who you could find in fresh, salt, or brackish waters. The absolutely gorgeous Atlantic stingray. So yes, the stingray shuffle still applies if you're in the rivers that pour into the Gulf of Mexico. Pink salmon, of course. Lampreys. <laughs> the Irrawaddy dolphin, the diamondback turtle, and many, many more. All in all, the adaptability of aquatic animals is stunning, and as someone who isn't a scientist, I just think it's magic and really beautiful. But don't allow the teeny tiny possibility of a bull shark to ruin your river tubing this spring break. Let it be the lampreys, because the lampreys are absolutely there and they're just waiting for you. There's probably one in your toilet right now waiting for you to sit down.